I remember our Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji was there watching live transmission and he was waving the flag that we could see uh, sitting at, uh, at the BRICS meeting. Uh, he took a small break and I came to watch this uh, live transmission just 20 minutes before that. And on the immediately after transmission, uh, I had the fortune to announce uh, and inform him that uh, we have landed on the moon. So he came just straight from BRICS summit. Uh, after two days, he came uh, and met us there. Uh, so we arranged an exhibition for him outside with the model of the Chandrayaan 3, etc. And he came and explained all that details to him. Then uh, uh, he came inside, uh, addressed all of us and made the great declaration of uh, 23rd of August where the Chandrayaan landed on the moon as the National Space Day uh, and also announced the place it landed as the Shiva Shakti point and Chandrayaan 2 landing site as the Tiranga point. So these announcements he did. So we were all uh, very thrilled to see him. This visit to Vikrasarabhai Space Center where we had uh, an exhibition of Gaganyan we arranged for him because he wanted to review the progress of the Gaganyan in a, in a very focused manner. So when he was visiting uh, Kerala, then we requested him to come over to the uh, rocket center. Uh, where also we had the astronauts, the Gagan Yatris were given their wings by him in a function. So they were also announced, the four of them were announced. So in that we had almost a 20 minutes exhibition was arranged, but he took almost 45 minutes to cover that exhibition because of his interest. I, we showed him a lot of uh, exhibits, including the LVM 300 development, the crew module uh, that was going, you know, taking shape. He watched with so much of interest, looking inside uh, the design of it. He went and looked at the Vyomitra. The Vyomitra was a robot that we are putting into the first Gaganyan Uncrewed mission. This Vyomitra has a language capability. He can understand what you speak and do actions. Uh, move some knobs, increase volume, switch on lights, do some functions and uh, facial gest gestures and replies uh, in whatever language that you speak, it will speak back to you in the appropriate reply. So, I remember Prime Minister was so curious about it. He came and sat, uh, sta stood near that uh, thing and we had 10 commands written, serial number one and everything was in Hindi. So, he, he was not going one by one, but he randomly picked one and they started asking the Vyomitra. But fortunately, the, the accent we taught the Vyomitra is one, but Prime Minister's accent is slightly different. And he was not exactly speaking that what was written, slightly different. Still, Vyomitra understood all of this and replied him correctly and did all the... And then he, he took some third, fourth, then he went to first, then we went to tenth. But in the process, he covered all of them. And at the end, he congratulated and said that it is a beautiful, good work. Uh, and all our engineers are thrilled to see him uh, standing by it and then doing this. Then we went to uh, the Gaganyan crew module, also went to the Pushpak, the reusable rocket uh, we were going to land and do that. He went around it and saw that. So many, many exhibits were there. He, he was so curious to understand, uh, discuss with me. After the Chandrayaan 3 landing, uh, we were asked to prepare a long-term roadmap, a vision for space 2047 in the Amritkal. So we prepared it and went to him. He came for a review along with other senior officials of the government of India. So I made a presentation to him. After that, he was very happy to announce to the public about the plan to continue Gaganya and about our plan to build a space station for the Andhra station and our vision to uh, put our man on the moon, all that he announced later. But the most touching aspect was not that. Uh, after the meeting was over, I was asked to come to his room because that time I was suffering from certain you know, ailments and he wanted to talk to me personally. Okay. So uh, we were only alone uh, in, the ho in the hall, uh, in his room. So he asked me, how, how is it? How did you detect? Uh, what is the type of treatment going on? And he showed himself very anxious about it. I could understand he was meant perturbed to know about this. But I, I showed a courageous face in front of him, of course. <laughs> I, 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 he told me that you are a spiritual person and you won't be put out by such events in life. I said, yes, sir, uh, that I won't be worried about it. It's something that I need to handle. And uh, he told me that you, 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 can, you will be definitely able to handle it. So that was one positive thing. He also advised me that if you, when you go through such uh, chemotherapies, your hair loss may occur. So you should not get worried. 
I said that's our nowadays technology is that said it won't happen that uh, uh, fast that that used to happen. Luckily, that same thing <laughs> happened to me. This role as uh, strengthening the space ec ecosystem in India is through various policy interventions. As a Prime Minister, uh, he is the creator of the policy, implementer of the policy <coughs> through the governmental system. So you recently you heard many initiatives. After the space sector reforms, we were working on a space policy. National space uh, policy has been announced, in which the roles and responsibility of Department of Space, ISRO, NSIL in space has been very clearly delineated. So this makes the first step, which makes uh, that private space ecosystem can come in, in all these areas. So first step. Second step is we created a new policy called for Foreign Direct Investment Policy has also been announced, in which in space sector, in all areas, private investments or foreign investments are allowed with certain controls and regulations, which was not possible earlier. Third is done by DST, Department of Science and Technology, on geospatial policy. That means all the geospatial data, satellite data, is also now made available free of cost up to 5 meter resolution to everybody. So to create a secondary effects on it. So these are three important initiatives in terms of policy initiatives the government has taken piloted by Honorable Prime Minister.